Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Addie. I've got three young kiddos and today I wanted to share with you some Thanksgiving activities, games, crafts for them to do in preparation of the holidays. I hope you enjoy. For the first activity, you're going to cut out a few leaves from a for the first activity, you're gonna cut out um, different colored feathers from construction paper. And you're gonna get a cup. I just use a wide mouthed one because I have different leveled kiddos who are gonna do this activity. And you're gonna tape those feathers onto the back of your cup so that the cup basically is like the turkey's body. Then you're gonna take some tape and tape some googly eyes onto the front of the cup so that it's the eyes of the turkey. And once you have that, depending on the age of your kiddo that you're having go first, if they are a little more advanced, you can put some masking tape over the opening so that it's a much smaller hole for them to make it a little bit more difficult. So once you kind of have that all taped up um, or open for your kiddo, that's what it'll look like. And then you can give them a pair of tweezers and let them try to pick up the pom-poms with the tweezers and put it in the hole. And they can do it until the pom-poms are gone or until they are done with the activity. And then if you have a younger kiddo, you just take the tape off to make the hole bigger for them and then let them do it too. And you can just put this on your shelf and have it available for them all month long. Next up, I have a fine motor lacing activity, and this printable is available on my website in the freebies section. There are two versions, an easier one, which is this one right here, or a harder one with more holes. So I printed it out, laminated it, and now I'm just cutting it out. I think laminating helps for a more sturdy paper. And then when you have that done, you can take a hole punch, and right where those little circles are, you can punch a hole. I'm kind of doing two hole punches in the same hole, kind of right next to each other, just to make the hole a little bit bigger to make sure that the shoelace that I'm gonna use fits through it. You can do just one if you have a really skinny string that you're gonna use, but I just kind of wanted to do two. And the laminating makes it a little bit harder, so just you know beware, but there you can kind of see the hole is like a double single hole, if that makes sense. And once you have that done, then you can use the turkey to just use a light, and then when you're done, you have a little lacing card so you can give it to your little one with a shoelace in our case. And I just tied a knot on the end so that it did not come through. And then she just started lacing. I did not worry about her lacing this exactly correctly. I just tried to let her do it how, you know, she wanted that would keep her interested in the activity. Um, and she just put it through the holes and eventually she wanted me to help her a little bit just by holding it and then she did the holes then she did it again after where she held it and tried to do it all by herself so you can undo it and redo this as many times as they will stay interested for, in for and then of course just leave it on your shelf uh, for the whole month and see how many times they come back to it because repetition is key so if they start mastering this one then you can print the harder one or you can just go for the harder one um, whatever you choose up next, I have a Thanksgiving sensory activity. And so for this, you're gonna need a little bin. In this case, I'm using like a casserole dish, some pumpkin pie mix, which I just kind of push at the bottom there, and then some whipped cream. You can use the spray kind. I just homemade some, but whatever you want is fine. Just put it on top, kind of like a little pumpkin pie. Then you can let them play with it with their fingers or you can give them a utensil of some sort and just let them play around with the new sensory experience. I have my littlest one here demonstrating this, but all three of my kids loved this activity. And then one of the best parts I think is that it is for all ages because even the little ones, all of this is taste safe. So if they do stick their hands in and want to, you know, have a bite of something, they totally can. And that's totally fine. And they're probably going to absolutely love it because it's whipped cream. So um, yeah, it just was a really good fun activity. It lasted quite a few hours between the three of them. So it, it, it was a little messy just to, you know, throw that out there. I did have to wipe the table down after. So just as a word of caution. The last activity today is a painting activity, which all three of my kids just love to do, but with a Thanksgiving twist. So here I have a plate of paint kind of spread out and I just did a few colors so that it didn't all turn brown. I kind of did the more Thanksgiving-y colors. And then on the tray there, I have a few different feathers. So painting with feathers, painting with a new little medium and having them 
experience that. My five-year-old, I would say, probably liked this the most. She just loved having the new texture and the new experience. And she did a full picture. My youngest probably liked it the second most. She just loves making a mess with anything with her hands. So um, for her, we didn't really do it on the easel. We kind of did it more on the um, kitchen floor where I could easily clean it up. Um, and then for my middle child, she did like it as well, but she did not kind of stay as entertained with it. She kind of wanted to just use a paintbrush. So. All three of them liked it, but that is kind of the order of how it went at our house. All right, that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoy these activities. Hope they can kind of stay on your shelf for the next couple weeks for Thanksgiving. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. Helps me out a lot. I appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.